Don't splurge on a restaurant fancy meal, make it at home. Try my easy peasy creamy pesto chicken pasta. Let's go. The pasta spell. <laughs> it's the food of the gods. We're gonna cut the chicken into small bite-sized pieces. About a pound of boneless, skinless chicken breast. We're gonna cut it up into, say, one inch chunks. This one inch? Or is that bigger than one inch piece? A little longer than an inch. Yeah, maybe an inch, inch and a half. And these will cook super quickly and they're easy to kind of toss in your pasta. So that's why I cut them up first. I'm gonna wash my hands. You might wanna show people that I'm washing my hands. Nice pinch of kosher salt, nice pinch of black pepper, and then we're gonna do a nice large pinch, also Italian seasoning. Toss, toss, toss. I love a quick, almost one pan meal, because you do have to cook the pasta. Get a pot of water on your stove so that it will start to boil, and let's take this party over here. Water is about to boil. I'm gonna salt it like the sea using kosher salt here. This is your opportunity to give your pasta some TLC. Ideally, you wanna do this whole thing at the same time in about 15-ish minutes or so. So it's a very easy weeknight dinner, which, which is what I love about it. Grab a non-stick pan, medium-high heat, a nice drizzle of Italian nocciolata, extra virgin olive oil right here, about two tablespoons, and we're gonna get it to brown. So coat the bottom. I think my water is boiling, so let's go ahead and drop our pasta in. I'm using penne. We're gonna give the pasta a stir once we drop it for a minute here. We're about to go in with the chicken. It should sizzle upon contact with the hot pan. Here we go. Yep, music to my ears. Really, this chicken could take about seven minutes or so. Your goal is to see it brown on all sides. The juices should run clear. You're gonna toss around a little bit every so often to cook on all sides. Very easy, it'll cook very fast. Seven to eight minutes, smells great. Pretty much done here. I'm gonna just lower the heat and check on my pasta. At this point, you can grab some of the pasta cooking water before draining the pasta. You'll be using that for the sauce. This starchy pasta cooking water is very helpful. This part is about to happen. Ooh, nice facial. Add this pasta right here to the chicken. See, I told you it's almost a one pan situation. We are going to start with Parmesan. Leave some for later. Some sun-dried tomato, a little bit of heavy cream, not too much. And then I told you that this was a chicken pesto pasta, or is it pesto chicken pasta? Okay, it's a pesto chicken pasta. We're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of pesto using about a half a cup. Homemade pesto is great. Store-bought quality pesto will work just fine, but just avoid that you know, brown looking pesto. <laughs> it's not the best. We're gonna go ahead and toss this whole party together, adding to it maybe a little bit of the starchy pasta water, gives it extra creaminess without adding more heavy cream. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add just a tiny bit of the pasta cooking water and then toss this party together. Let's add a little bit of red pepper flakes. You can omit this if you don't want it. And if you have some fresh basil, it's a great thing to add right as you serve. This chicken pasta dinner will rock your world. I'm just saying. I have a feeling it's great, but I can't tell you for sure until I have a bite. Let's try not to take a bite like an elephant would. I actually have never seen an elephant take a bite. They, oh, they, they have a smaller appetite. Damn, it's good. <laughs> should you try this? Of course you should. For more delicious pasta recipes, check out my next video. Grab the recipe over on themediterraneandish.com. I will see you later. Ciao.